you clicked on today's video to not only learn how to dribble but to get the best dribble moves for your build. Well, today you came to the right place because in this video, I will be showing the best dribble moves for all builds, including 75 ball handle plus, 80 ball handle plus, and 85 plus ball handle, while also showing you how to do all those moves as well. And lastly, I will also be giving you the best tips and tricks and badges for dribbling in NBA 2K22. These are the best dribble moves after all seasons in NBA 2K22. So make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if this helps, and let's get straight into this. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger. And in today's video, I finally got you guys with the long-awaited dribble moves video, best dribble tutorial, and best dribble moves for all ball handles. Y'all have been asking for this for a long time. I haven't done a dribble tutorial since, like, season two. Y'all make sure to drop a like on this video. Let's get to 10,000 likes, okay? Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. 1 million subscribers on the way. And if you guys are new to this channel just from searching for best dribble moves, we have... we usually just only drop content videos so we have a bunch of banger entertaining videos so make sure to go check them out but anyways let's get straight into this video so first i'm going to be going over the tips and tricks for dribble moves then afterwards we're going to be going over the best badges for dribbling and then after that i'm going to be showing you the best dribble moves and how to do those dribble moves for 75 ball handle players then 80 ball handle players and then 85 ball handle players so you can navigate through this video however you want to but i would recommend watching the whole video through anyways let's get into the best tips and tricks okay y'all so i'm here with the best tips and tricks for dribbling now you're definitely gonna want to do a couple things to increase your chances of being good with dribbling getting open with dribbling and just having a lot, enough stamina to dribble now one thing that you can do if you want to do if you if you find yourself getting ripped a lot and a lot of people are stealing the ball from you is getting annoying you can buy playmaking boost from the boost stand or from your phone that will help with that um, if you do get ripped a lot. So that is one tip right there. And another thing is Gatorade, which is you can also get on the phone or you can go over to the Gator facility over there and buy some Gatorade. Now, Gatorade gets pretty expensive though, but these three things do certain things. So for the orange one, basically when you're like running around the court and dribbling, your energy slows down 25% slower than usual if you use the orange one. The blue one, when you run out of energy and you're recovering that energy while not dribbling, it'll increase your recover the energy 25% faster. And then the green one will increase the energy by 20%. Um, so honestly, to be honest, the best one is probably, it's probably the orange one, to be honest. So if you're gonna buy in only one of them, get the orange one, but yeah, you can buy all three if you want to, uh, to help you out to have more stamina when you're dribbling. That way you can dribble for longer. That way when you do get open, you will be able to hit your shot because obviously it's harder to shoot when you're open if you have low energy. Another tip is if you click start and you go over to your settings, you're gonna wanna have your controller settings certainly um, on absolute. Make sure they're on absolute. That's the pro stick orientation and the uh, even the off ball offensive mode. Make sure both of these are on absolute and make sure your pro stick function is on default. Some people will be turning on dribble moves. No, make sure it's on default so you can also dunk the ball the right stick while still being able to dribble with the right stick. Anyways, that's just a couple simple things to know for dribbling, the, the, the help you with dribbling, whatever tips and tricks right there. Let's move on to the best badges for dribbling. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you guys the best badges for dribbling. Now, by the way, season eight just dropped. Let me know what you guys think about season eight. Is it a W or L in the comment section? Let me know. But anyways, let's go ahead and look at my badges on this build. I get 22 playmaking badges. Now, let me explain each of these badges. Now, there has been a rumor going on with Quick Chain that if you have over like an 86 ball control, you don't need to use Quick Chain. I think you still need to use it, so I still use it. But anyways, the best dribbling badges is obviously Quick Chain. It's gonna make you dribble faster, quick first step. It's going to make you run out of certain moves faster. Handles for days is going to make it so you don't run out of energy too fast. Uh, so definitely have those three badges maxed out. Like those are the most important dribbling badges. After that, I would have unpluckable on at least bronze. I don't think you need it on Hall of Fame necessarily unless you're playing threes in the stage and you're on a play shot. But yeah, put it on at least bronze or silver and you should be good. Other than that, if you still have some playmaking badges left, uh, make sure to put on bullet passers so you can pass the ball 
Um, you don't want to have on no bullet pass or your pass is going to be super slow. And even if your teammate's open, by the time the pass gets it gets there, he's not going to be open by the time he catches it. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you have that on. And then after that, if you still have some badges left, use tight handles. Tight handles is basically um, a badge where your defender can just freeze if you do certain dribbles. And it's very overpowered because obviously if your defender is frozen for even a second, you can easily get wide open and shoot a quick green. It's actually very overpowered um, if you know how to use it. But other than that, you don't really need anything else. Hyperdrive, I would not use that anywhere higher on bronze. Space Creator and Ankle Breaker, you can use if you want ankle breakers. But if I don't, if you don't have Playmaker Takeover, I wouldn't use those. Stop and Go, not very useful. Needle, needle Threader, not very useful. Downhill, no, nothing's really useful right here except for maybe a bronze bailout for General Dimer um other than that i wouldn't really use anything here maybe special delivery if you really have a lot of playmaking badges but yeah these are the main playmaking badges you want to use um and that i would recommend for dribbling in nba 2k22 let's get on to the best dribble moves and the tutorial and all the season eight dribble moves okay y'all so i am in the my core and we are about to show the best dribble moves from season eight and the best dribble moves for 75 80 and 85 ball handlers now there's a lot of dribble moves that came out in season eight and to be honest i just tested every single one of them so i'm about to show you the best dribble moves um for old ball handle ratings and show you exactly what drill moves from season eight i would use or not use so to start we're just gonna look at the new dribbles that came out in season eight i'm gonna tell you whether they are good or bad now the dribble style uh the only new one was kemba walker this one's basically just like a steve nash or paul george one but just worse so i wouldn't use this one it's not very um it's just not as good as pg or steve nash next new move is stephen curry this is actually a good move this moving step back was pro was from 2k21 i would use this on builds that get a lot of ankle breakers if you have play take if you have ankle breaker or space creator this this is probably gonna get a lot of stunts and i'm gonna test it out uh, i'm probably gonna use it on a couple builds this is definitely a good moving step back i cannot lie so i would chest out stephen curry this is what it looks like all you have to do to do the move is just hold the right trigger and flick the right stick down whether you're running to the right or to the left but yeah that's a good move from season eight signature size ups now there's four new signature signature size ups in season eight john morant jamal murray um jason williams and john well the john morant and jamal murray ones are so bad they are so slow do not use those ones they are horrible okay now jason williams is actually an interesting one i'm going to show you on the screen it basically has this like long crossover I feel like this would be a kind of like a fun one to use, not necessarily like a competitive one. But this is an interesting signature size up because you're still fast when you go to the left and the right when you go on this, when you, as you can see on the screen. But you also get this like long crab, like fake crossover animation that I don't think has ever been in the game. And then John Wall is not a bad one too. This one's like kind of weird, like the size up's kind of weird, like Jason Williams. I don't know if it's going to be good competitively. Definitely going to be a fun one that I'm probably going to try out. But once again, it's another signature side up that's still fast on the crossover when you go from left to right and the speed boost when you go from left to right. Those ones, those two are not too bad, but John Moran, Jamal Murray do not use those ones. And to do the long crossover and the weird crossovers I was doing with John Wall and Jason Williams, all you have to do, flick your right stick up either diagonally right if the ball's in your left hand or diagonally left if the ball is in your right hand. Signature combos, the only one that came out was Curry and Steve Francis and Kemba Walker. The only one that is really usable is Stephen Curry. You can speed boost out of this move pretty well, just like the Baron Davis one. All you have to do to do this move is to hold the right trigger and flick the right stick up. This is not a bad one for sure. And then the only size of escape that came out this season was Kyrie Irving. This is actually an interesting one. It gets the LeBron AI step back. Um, and to do this move, all you have to do is hold the right trigger and flick the right stick down. But the crab animation is like disgustingly horrible with this move on so i definitely would not recommend getting this it's literally just a worse version of stephen curry so yeah that one's horrible but yeah those are all the season eight dribbles that came out now let's go into the 75 80 and 85 ball handle dribble moves 
Okay, y'all, so these are gonna be the best dribble moves for 75 to 79 ball handle. Now, you can copy these down right now, but I'm gonna, there's gonna be options that I'm gonna show you, and I'm also gonna show you what these dribble moves do, and I'm also gonna show you how to do these dribble moves, okay? So starting with the dribble style, there's gonna be a couple different options here for my 75 ball handlers. Now, I'm gonna be using the 75 to 79 ball handle dribble moves on my new PlayStation build that's coming, so I cannot wait to dribble with these dribble moves. But anyways, you have your options for this is going to be either quick, Paul George, or C. Gray. Okay, those are going to be your options. Now, if somehow you have an 80 speed with ball, you can get Steve Nash. But that's not a stat, so you would have to go check if you can buy it. If you can buy it, then get Steve Nash. But these are going to be your four options, mainly just these three options. Now, what the dribble style is, is basically it changes the way your player looks and the way your how fast and what your player does out of certain moves when you're speed boosting, right? I'm gonna show on the screen what quick dribble style looks like out of certain speed boost moves. This is the most basic one. A lot of people use this one. And then this is what Paul George looks like. So obviously a little different. The crossover when you go from left to right is a little different. And the move and the speed boost from left to right is also a little different. And then this is what C Gray looks like. This one I feel like is the fastest when it comes to going like straight up the court left to right. But the move from left to right, the crossover is very similar to Paul George. So obviously you could tell there was three big differences. Now how I'm doing these speed boost moves is let's say the ball is in my right hand. I flick up on the left stick without holding the right trigger and then run out of the move. Now if the ball is in my left hand, I will flick up diagonally right with the right stick and hold the right trigger and run out of the move. Now this speed boost move that I was doing, all you have to do is hold the right stick up diagonally opposite ball handle while holding the right trigger too and then you can run out of those two moves either going the same way you came from or going the other way which will give you a, a crossover but basically my main tip while doing this move is it's all through flicking the right stick up diagonally as soon as you get that down and you run out of the move correctly you can literally do this move and get so many moves out of it and to the point where you'll be a good enough dribble to win very consistent on this game but anyways those are your options now to be honest I'm going to be using C Gray uh, when it comes to that. I feel like that dribble style is a huge W for 75 to 79. Moving on to signature size up, you're going to have two options. Either I would go with Giannis or Donovan Mitchell. Giannis is basically the best one because it's basically like the Derrick Rose version of like the fast crossover you get out of. Now, signature combo, there's only really one true good one for 75 to 79, and that's Steve Nash. Now, to do a signature combo, all you have to do is hold the right trigger and flip the right stick up. And Steve Nash is the best one to do it out of. Basically, the best thing to use this move for is as soon as he's doing like between the legs, you run out of the move, depending on where the ball is, whether it's in his left or right hand, and you can run towards the left or the right. Now, size of escapes, you're gonna have a lot of options here. There are three options, and it depends. It's really all personal preference. LeBron James, if you wanna get that long AI step back, then you're gonna wanna go with LeBron James. But the crab animation for LeBron is really bad. Kevin Durant, size of escape. The step back is like that 2K19 step back, and the crab animation's a little better. So I would use one of those two. It really depends. It's all personal preference. Now to do the step backs you're seeing, all you have to do is hold the right trigger and flick the right stick down. And to do a crab, all you have to do is hold the right trigger and flip the right stick up diagonally right or left, depending on where the ball is. If the ball's in your left hand, you flick it up right. If the ball's in your right hand, you flick it up left. So I'm gonna choose LeBron James just because I like that AI step back. Moving crossovers, you can just choose Giannis or LeBron. It really doesn't matter. Those are the best ones. You're not really gonna be doing a lot of crossovers anyways, but yeah, Giannis is the best one. Moving behind the back, Scottie Pippen, it gives you that direct behind the back when you're attacking the basket. All you have to do to do this is when you're running straight to the basket, hold the right trigger and flick the right stick diagonal opposite ball handle down. So if the ball's in my right hand and I'm running straight to the basket, I'll hold the right trigger and flick the right stick diagonally left. If it's in my left hand, I'll flick the right stick diagonally down right. Anyways, moving spins, I would go with basic. Basic is like the fast moving spin you get and out of it, you can just flick the, or hit the left trigger and you get that nice move out of it right back to the three point line if that's where you're spinning back to. Now to do this move, all you have to do is run forward with the right trigger and then if the ball's in your left hand, all you have to do is spin your right stick counterclockwise and if the ball's in your right hand, you would spin the right stick clockwise and you would go from 12 to six on both of those while holding the right trigger. Then we have moving, moving hesitation, Luka Doncic. This is definitely the best one. Now, when you do that moving spin, you hit the left trigger out of it. This is that hesitation you're getting with the Luka one. 
Now, to do a hesitation, all you have to do is either hit the left trigger while you're running left to right or while you're running down out of a spin, or you can simply run left to right while holding the right trigger and flick the right stick to the right if you're running to the right or flick the right stick to the left if you're running to the left to do a moving hezzy. Moving step backs is going to be Vince Carter. That's definitely the best one or Giannis depending on which one you like better. This is what the Giannis moving step back looks like and then this is what the Vince Carter moving step back looks like. Both of these um, step backs can do the peak. Now to do a, to shoot up to do the peaks the fake peaks or whatever all you have to do is run left to right and while you're running right after your first uh, dribble move you just tap the left trigger and you're going to get like this fake stop and you're just going to keep running forward with the left stick and the right trigger now to do the actual moving step back you're, whether you're running left to right all you have to do is hold the right trigger and just flick the right stick down while you're running and then just keep going you're going to get a move where you stop and then all of a sudden speed boost out of it it's a very good move if you want to attack the basket or work around the three-point line so yeah, that's the best dribble moves for 75 to 79 ball handlers. Now let's get into 80 to 84. All right, now this is the best 80 to 84 ball handle dribble moves. Now we're going to have options just like in the last one. But once again, if you want to copy these downs, go ahead and do so. But some of the dribble moves that I showed earlier and that I also showed you how to do, I'm not going to show those again. So I would recommend just watching through all the 75, 80, and 85 ball handle dribble moves. And the best for all of those so starting with the dribble style once again steve nash is going to be my choice if you can't get steve nash go quicker paul george we showed what those look like and how to do them earlier but i'm gonna go with steve nash i think that's the best one signature size up i'm gonna go with De'Aaron fox but if you don't pick De'Aaron fox go with t-mac you can try either or signature combo 100 baron davis once again, you just hold the right trigger, flick the right stick up, and you do like uh, whatever combo you select, which I selected Baron Davis. This is 100% the best one in the game, and you can get it at 80 ball handle. Size of escape packages. Now, you're going to have a lot of options here. Personally, I like Damian Lillard the best. Damian Lillard is going to give you that long AI step back while also giving you good speed boost animations, unlike the LeBron size of escape um that we had had to choose earlier now if you're more of like a point guard i would go with trey young size of escape but if you're an iso player player lillard is definitely better trey young is going to give you a different step back but the crab animation you get with trey young is way better other good size of escapes that you could try is one uh, kemba walker kind of like that 2k19 step back with a good crab animation just like trey young or you can go with kobe bryant which is going to give you that between the legs cross crossover and that 2k19 step back moving crossover i'm gonna go with kyrie irving if you don't like kyrie you can go with stephen curry moving behind the back is gonna stay the same stay, stay the same scotty pippen moving spins gonna stay the same basic moving heads he's gonna stay the same luka Doncic. moving step back you can go with Giannis. Um, or Vince Carter again but if you don't do the peak thing use Jimmy Butler you can't use the fake peak with Jimmy Butler but the actual moving step back itself is by far the best one in the game and that's it for the 80 to 84 ball handle dribbles now let's move on to 85 to 99 all right y'all so now we are on 85 plus ball handle now the last one was 80 to 84 that's what i'm probably gonna use that's what for my four-way goat build if you guys don't already know but this i'll be using for my two-way play shot build um and yeah we're gonna go over the best dribbles for 85 to 99 there's gonna be some options obviously depending on your play style this is what i have on right now for my two-way play shot dribble style i go with steve nash you can go with either steve nash quick or paul george uh depending on your play style we showed those all earlier signature size up derrick rose is the best one in the game not even close literally the best one this is going to give you the fastest crossover on those speed boost moves um, now, if you don't want to go with Derrick Rose, hey, maybe you can go with Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell is not too bad either. Since your combos, Baron Davis is still the best one, but Ray for Alston is also an interesting one. This is where you get that like weird, weird like hippity hop between the leg animation. And once again, right trigger, right stick up to trigger that. But I still think Baron Davis is better than that one. Sides of escape packages now. You can really choose anyone in the game, but ones that get very good at 85 plus is, of course, Trey Young, which we showed the last time, and Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry is going to give you the AI step back and the Curry slide in this same escape package. 
To do the curry slide, all you have to do is hold the right trigger and, and then flick the right stick down opposite diagonal ball hand. Uh, Stephen Curry is very, very good. Not gonna lie. Probably the best size of escape in the game. Moving crossover, gonna stay the same as Kyrie. Moving behind the back, gonna stay the same as Scottie Pippen. Moving spin, gonna stay the same as basic. Lu moving heads, gonna stay the same as Luka. Moving step back, gonna stay the same as Jimmy Butler. And same with everything else, really. Yeah, those are the best dribble moves for 85 to 99 ball handle. Now, another move I'm gonna show you guys that you don't even need a dribble move for that I, I get asked about a lot is this little pullback move that I do uh, right here. And I do use this move a lot. You don't need any drool move equipped for it. You don't need a ball handle for it either. Now, all you have to do with it, the ball is in your left hand. Hold the right trigger. Flip the right stick up diagonally right and the left stick down. The ball is in your right hand. Flick the, the, right, the right stick diagonally up left while holding the right trigger and flip the, flick the left stick down. And you could just spam that. You can run out of it, all that type of stuff. Now, obviously, there's a lot of combos you can do with all the dribbles that I showed in today's video. And this was really like a basic dribble tutorial. If you guys want to a, a dribble tutorial, let me know in the comment section because we could definitely do that. But I did show you guys the best dribble moves for every single ball handle. So as long as you have your playmaking upgraded, you could just get into my court, test out all the dribbles, do the little one-on-one -on -one drill I'm doing right now get into my court, mess around with it. But anyways, it's really up to you to chain the dribbles together. So for example, pull back, you can just spam that. You can turn it into a Derrick Rose speed boost right here, back and forth, or to the same side with the Steve Nash dribble style, or switch it up, go back to the other way. You can bring out the size of escape package if you have the AI step back. You can do the crab animation into something else to crab your defender. Or if you come over to the right and then go over here, you might be open because the defender thinks you're still going to go left. You can pull out the spin back whenever you want. It's really up to you what dribble moves you combo. So as long as you have the animations that I showed you equipped, depending on your ball handle, you should be good. Just get into my court. Anyways, y'all, hopefully this video helped you out a lot. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Like I said, we have a bunch of content on the channel and coming this July. Y'all make sure to drop a like on the video if this video did help you out at all. I also have a ton of build videos on the channel and a jump shot video just like this one. But anyways, y'all, it's been your boy Henry, aka Double H, and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.